Smack his little back if you don't go to sleep for his daddy. But whether you're tired or not, after that you go. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Pretty good. Um, I. Okay, this is cut. This don't go. Ah, uh, when I tell you this, it makes me feel bad. But when I was little, I had this set of Disney books, and I used to love the story of Pinocchio. <laughs> Until kids started calling me that in school. <laughs> and it wrecked it for me. But I loved it. It had the best pictures, and there's that little cricket, the cat, or something, and I really liked it. But DJ White, they start calling <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You mean an asshole. I stayed behind my ears and my nose. Literally. <laughs> I don't think your acting is wooden at all. <laughs> Actually, I told them the truth yesterday. Um, I, I, I get Botox not just because of the, um, of the age benefits, but because I, my face is overly expressive and it keeps me from over emoting. Oh, that's really good. I, it's true. I find vodka does the same. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, but really, I, uh, I have a Jim Carrey face, and like, I'm, I'm naturally overexpressive, and when I, when I freeze a couple of the muscles in my face, it keeps me, it makes it look like I'm a better actor. <laughs> and keeps you looking hot. <laughs> it does. <laughs> okay, we want to give some more people a chance here, so uh, next. Hello. Hi. Hi, I remember you, you taught me that 16 year olds can dream. Is that you? Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted to admit to that. Well, I am. Um, <laughs> I have two things. One of them is uh, the, the, um, costume department let you keep Mr. Fizzles. What'd you say? Did the costume department let you keep Mr. Fizzles? Uh, there was always two Mr. Fizzles. Um, whenever you do a scene, usually, like, if you're any piece of wardrobe or any prop, there's normally one in the backup in case something happens to the first. Um, so I did my scene to Mr. Fizzles with the original Mr. Fizzles, and there was a backup. And then for Christmas, the year when I joined, when I joined the show, um, the producers sent Mr. Fizzles, the original, into my house. Um, so I have the one that's on the show, and, and so if Mr. Fizzles makes another appearance, I'll bring him back, but they have a backup. Mr. Fizzles is made for $20 by a lady that lives in uh, Vancouver. She makes uh, sock puppets. That's what she does. I bet she's a weird lady, but I really <laughs> like Mr. Fizzles a lot. Um, uh, he's kind of scary looking when you look at him, though. Uh, children, uh, children either scream or laugh, but I tried him out on my, on my nephew, and my nephew freaked out and started screaming. I was like, you'll never wear socks again. <laughs> I have a ventriloquist dummy in my cellar <laughs> called Sid. And when my kids were young, if they were bad, I would just go to the cellar door and say, want to see Sid? <laughs> that's why your daughter is so messed up. Yeah, that's right. She's right there. Stand up, Grace. Right? Uh, first movie when I've just told Orlando Bloom 
about Jack's escape from the island with the sea turtles, when uh, I say to him, uh, he tied some turtles together with some rope and, and, and uh, got away from the island. And uh, Orlando was built town, I have to say, where did he get the rope? And Jack's line was, um, uh, I, I, I twisted some twine together. <laughs> and on the day, and on the take, that actually is in the movie, he said, I pleated it from my back hair. <laughs> At which point, I just turned to the camera and laughed, and it's still in the movie. <laughs> Check it out next time you watch it. I just go, 